Hey there, if you're a real estate investor looking to scale and automate some of your CRM functions, you're in the right place. I'm Jessica with REI Sift, and today we're going to talk about the power of REI Sift's sequences. So come on and join me as we discuss how these powerful automations can change your business. So you might be wondering exactly what sequences are and what they're going to do in your CRM. So you can almost think of sequences like your free virtual assistant. So they're behind the scenes running automations when certain things happen in your account. So you're gonna have a trigger. Let's say that a new lead comes into your CRM. Behind the scenes, that's gonna trigger a sequence and certain actions can occur directly in your REI SIFT account. You can assign a property to a team member. You can hand off from one department to another. You can add it to a Kanban board. We have something called SIFLINE in REI SIFT, which is a Kanban view, so you never lose sight of that lead in your processes. Or you can even use them in another way. You can use them to assign follow-ups on certain properties for outreach. The, really, the combinations of how you can use sequences are endless. So why are these sequences important to you as a scaling real estate investor? It's time and money, right? That's what it always comes down to. You have limited time to accomplish all of the things that you need to accomplish day to day. So sequences are going to streamline that by handling some of those repetitive and mundane day to day things and taking them off your plate so you have the time to focus on what's really important. All right, let's dive into REI Sift just a little bit and look at how you build a sequence. When I have new real estate investors coming into REI Sift, three things that I really recommend, three sequences that I really recommend building first are a new lead sequence where you can handle your new leads that are coming in and you get notified right away that you have a new lead coming in. I also recommend building out some lead management follow-up, making sure that you're following up with your cold leads, warm leads, hot leads. And then lastly, any time that you're going to have a handoff between departments, I recommend building a sequence. So if you have, um, you need to hand off a lead to an acquisitions team member, let's have a sequence to handle that transition. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on that new lead sequence. How do I handle a new lead that's coming into REI SIF so I can make sure that none of those leads are slipping through the cracks, right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna click over here on the left-hand side, we're going to navigate to sequences. You can have sequence folders, um, and I can link down a video down below to show you how we can manage sequences in REI SIFT and organize them. But for right now, we're just gonna click create new sequence. You can give it a title, so I'm gonna call this the new lead sequence. I'm gonna select the folder I want it to go in. I'm gonna put it in my lead management folder. So sequences have three main components. They have triggers. What's going to cause that sequence to run? They have conditions. You can put a condition on the trigger so that that trigger only causes the sequence to run if a certain condition is met. And then actions. Actions are what occurs once that sequence is triggered. So let's select a trigger first. For a new lead sequence, I often select property status changing, and then we're gonna select a condition, and that's what has changed about the property status. So I only want this sequence to run if, it change, if the property status has changes to new lead. You can also use other conditions if needed, like if the property is assigned to somebody specific, if it has certain tags on it. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and set some actions. So if the property status changes to new lead, what do I want to happen inside REI SIFT? So the first thing I might want to do is to assign the property to a lead manager. So I'm gonna assign the property to Henry. Maybe he's my lead manager. I can also clear property tasks, so I can delete any old tasks that might be on the record. And most importantly, I want to create a new task, and you can actually have preset tasks in REI SIFT, like a list of saved tasks that you're gonna use frequently. So I'm gonna select one of those tasks that I have saved inside of REI SIFT. I'm going to choose, and you can see I have a lot of tasks in my account, but I'm going to choose call new lead. So I'm going to get assigned a task as soon as this new lead comes in. Jessica, call this new lead right away because I don't want this new lead slipping through the cracks. 
And then the last thing I might want to do is create a new card. Now, what is a card? So we have something called SIF line, which is a Kanban view in REI SIF. And I want to make a card on that board so that I have a bird's eye view of all of my leads and I can manage them visually and not lose track of any of them. So I'm going to make a card on my lead management board in the new lead section. Then all I have to do is create, click save sequence. I'm gonna change the name a little bit because that name's already in use. So I'm gonna put new lead practice and I'm going to save that sequence. This new lead sequence is so cool because if I'm the lead manager in my account, I log into REI SIFT and any new leads that came in, I am notified right away. It's like I get a to-do list of who I need to call and who I need to reach out to. There was a VA, almost like an assistant, working behind the scenes, but it's the sequence telling me what all I need to do for that day. So I can show you a little bit of what it might look like to have that sequence actually run because that's where the magic is gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna go to my records page I'm just gonna select a record that is not a lead right now, and we're gonna pretend like it came in as a lead. So this property right here come, becomes a new lead. Um, and that can come in from an automation or somebody manually clicking the status and changing it to new lead. As soon as that happens, behind the scenes, the sequence is running. And so I can click SIF line. And so this is uh, Nolway, Nolwood Way. If I click SIF line, here is that property loaded right onto my board. It's assigned to Henry. I have a task telling me to call it today. All of those things that we built, all of those automations that we built occurred. So now I have the bird's eye view of my leads and none of them are getting missed or left behind. And you can see I was also notified right here on the bell. I have a new lead I need to call as soon as it happened. All right, so we built that new lead sequence in REI SIFT, and that is one that most real estate investors with REI SIFT are gonna use. Most people wanna know when they got a new lead coming in and they wanna get notified about that. But remember, they are fully customizable and you can make them unique to your business. Some people are using them for handoff from department to department, lead follow-up, or even to, to tell your VA to do outreach on, on new marketing prospects. Really, the combinations of how you can use sequences are unlimited and really are going to depend on your unique business needs and we can make that happen here. All right, that's a wrap on sequences today. If you are looking to up your automation game in your real estate business, come join us at SIFT. We have a special promotion right now where you can join using the code SIFT2 and you will get $25 in free credits when you sign up. Credits can be used for skip tracing and direct mail in REI SIFT. And really at 12 cents a record, 25 credits is enough to skip trace plenty of records to lock in some deals. So I can't wait to see you in our platform and I look forward to working with you.